What's up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about wide receiver Ajay Hall no longer being listed on the Alabama roster. But if you haven't, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified of future uploads. And by doing so, it greatly helps out my channel and it helps me grow as a content creator. Well, we all know about, you know, Ajay Hall guys. Uh, he's from Valrico, Florida. Uh, very talented uh, player. Uh, he was highly recruited out of out of high school by several schools and um we got a glimpse of you know his talent in the uh 2021 8 day game and he showed off his uh great ability to catch the ball guys and he was able to pull it off several times so you know the hype going into the season was you know he was going to be one of the breakout stars and during the season he got you know a little bit of playing time but you know he didn't really you know show the talent or uh, step up like how we thought he was going to be you know then you know during the season you know he was sending out cryptic tweets you know saying you know that he was you know done with the team and everything like that so you know and i was one of the uh fans that was wondering you know what, what was going on with him and then nick saban kind of alluded to you know some players not doing what they're supposed to do in practice, not showing up, uh, not doing what they're supposed to do off the field as well. So, you know, and people was kind of, you know, wondering if, you know, he was one of the guys that was, you know, not doing what they're supposed to do. But, you know, we fast forward, you know, to the national championship game and Jameson Williams got hurt. You know, Ajay Hall got some playing time and, you know, he caught a couple of balls, but uh, he missed one critical uh pass that uh Bryce Young threw to him and um you know it kind of dropped the, he dropped the ball guys and um you know very very crucial situation so you know then a couple months after you know the season was over with Nick Saban had a you know little meeting and he was talking to the people and uh, he was pointing out you know three wide receivers that didn't really do what they're supposed to do throughout the season and a lot of people was uh thinking that, you know, Jai Hall is one of the guys because uh, he definitely played in the national championship. So, you know, and he continued to send cryptic tweets and everything like that. And I found out today that, you know, he's uh, no longer on the roster. And, um, and then he quoted saying something today saying uh, that it was news to him uh, for sure. So I guess that, you know, means he's officially out, guys. Um I hate it, you know, he's a very, very talented wide receiver. But at the same time, you know, if he's not doing all the things that he's supposed to do at the school, you know, as far as Nick Saban and the following program, then, you know, it can be a problem for the rest of the team, you know. And uh, one thing about Nick Saban, he's not going to tolerate, you know, any player not doing what they're supposed to do. And on the flip side of that, you know, Alabama is loaded with wide receivers, uh, we got some guys that's currently there like Trayshawn Holden and uh, Dow Jones Bell, you know, guys like that, JoJo Earl. And we got some guys coming in and uh, Aaron Anderson, uh, Shaz Preston, you know, Kendrick Law, all those guys. And I'm hearing a lot about uh, uh, Ryan, not Ryan Anderson, but Aaron Anderson. And um, he's turning his in practice, guys. So, you know. Alabama won't be hurting as far as wide receiver talent, but, you know, you hate to hear this, you know, as an Alabama fan, that uh, another great player, you know, is not on the team. First it was Kamar Wheaton, and now, you know, Jai Hall is no longer listed on the roster. Uh, so what do you guys think about this? Leave your thoughts in the comment section. Once again, guys, please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified for future uploads, and I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.